63 grams of sugar just in five ounces of orange juice. So, be careful with orange juice. Also in my smoothie I have the blueberries. Let's find the blueberries. Oh yeah, so let's add the orange juice. And it's still in log mode here, so I might as well got my frozen blueberries. Let me just hit my barcode. Let me read that. Okay. How many blueberries did we put on? We put on about a quarter cup. So let's move this down to a quarter cup. That's only 18 calories. Add that. Oh, and then we also had an apple in there too. Now, an apple doesn't have a barcode, or most don't, so here's how I'm going to search for an apple. I have uh, the search mode here. This one on the far left will search their entire database. So I'll just start typing apple. Okay, and here's some choices. apple pie, apple sliced, so that was about a medium sized apple. Add the apple, and how much of it? I had one whole apple that was sliced. So there we go, one apple, add. Oh, and then I had an egg. Let's say I want to eat one of these eggs. Most eggs have whoop, go back to lunch, a barcode on them. Let's scan the barcode on this carton of eggs. There we go. I'm only going to eat one. Okay, so we're done adding to our lunch. Oh, all those items got added to our dinner, which is fine. You know what? It's dinner anyway, so somehow my egg got added to the lunch. I can change that. I can tap on the egg down here in the corner. Right now it's listed as lunch. I can move it to the dinner. Save. And now all of them are together in the dinner. So, that entire meal that I am about to eat, I can see right here, 728 calories. Um, I can tap on this little, see this little circle with the eye on it? Tap on that, and I can get a full meal summary of this meal. And I can see that this particular meal is very high in calories or in carbohydrates. The different colors of the pie chart indicate the dark blue is fats, the light blue is proteins, and the medium shade of blue is carbohydrates. So this is a very carb heavy meal. Uh, and what that indicates to me is if I eat another meal today I should make that a protein heavy meal to balance this out because you don't you want to try to keep your protein as high as your carbs and you want your wheel your pie chart to be a little more balanced I like to have I like to shoot for a little bit more protein than carbs and then uh, maybe about a quarter of my pie be fat or less but this is a good way to see your a snapshot of all the nutritional value of the entire meal you just entered. Okay, so besides having measuring cups and measuring spoons handy, uh, it's also good to have a scale. I got this scale at Target. Makes it really easy to measure your food. So now I know this chicken breast is 
five ounces and you can switch it between like uh, fluid ounces, ounces, grams comes in pretty handy for entering your food okay I just made dinner so let's go ahead and log this meal uh, let's launch. Is it log? But first, what I want to do is I want to make some changes to the last meal I ate, uh, and I'll show you how to do that. Um, for starters, uh, see how everything is listed under dinner. Well, I want to go ahead and change that. I want to. First of all, I want to, I didn't actually eat all of this food. I did not eat the oatmeal. So I'm going to take the tap on the oatmeal and I'm going to delete that by hitting the trash can there in the bottom. Remove food. Okay, that's gone. And I didn't eat the egg in the last meal, but I did make use it to make the breading for this chicken right here. So, uh, I'm going to leave the egg in dinner. I'm going to move everything else to lunch. So I'm going to tap on the berry down here in the bottom corner where it says dinner. I'm going to hit that. I'm going to hit lunch. So now it's lunch. Now I'm going to come back over here, hit save. Okay, and I'm going to do that for the yogurt, dinner, change it to lunch, save, the orange juice, dinner, lunch, save, the apple, change it from dinner to lunch, and the blueberries. Dinner to lunch. Say. Okay. So now let's put in all the food that I used to make this meal. I've got some chicken uh, that's been breaded, uh, has a coating on it. I've got some uh, brown rice. Brown rice is way healthier than white rice. I've got some carrots that I steamed, and I got some barbecue sauce here and some red wine. So let's go ahead and start logging this stuff. Um, the egg I've already got in my dinner. I used that to to bread the uh, chicken. So we'll leave that in there. That's already done. For the rest of the breading, I used some cornstarch. So let's find the, the, uh, I'm going to hit add food, I'm going to go to my barcode, there's the zip, there it is, there's the UPC code, so I'm just going to scan that, cornstarch, I had about, about a tablespoon, so that's about right, I also used, cornmeal so here's some cornmeal uh, there's this barcode so let me just hit barcode scan that and about three tablespoons yeah that's about what I used yeah. Maybe two and a half, eh, but let's say three. So I'll add the cornmeal. I also use some seasoning in the breading. I use this stuff. Of course, it also has a barcode. Let's scan that. Sometimes you gotta move it around a little bit to get it to focus. 
Okay, so here's an example of here's an example of sometimes the barcode is wrong. <laughs> this is obviously not steak. Uh, so I don't know how the barcodes got mixed up there, but I'm going to cancel that. Cancel. And you know what? This stuff doesn't really have any calories anyway, so I'm just going to call that good. Garlic salt. I used some of that. Barcode it. And there it is. Garlic. How much? Yeah, I probably used about. The only measurement here is grams. Let's find out how many grams. Let's see. A quarter teaspoon is 1.3 grams. Okay, teaspoon. So I probably used about a teaspoon total. So three grams is, that's in the ballpark. I'll go ahead and add that. Because I'm also going to use it to season the food. I also put a little bit of... Uh, butter on the rice and the carrots not butter actually it was smart balance so let's scan that barcode ah there it is on the bottom alright And how much of it did I use? I only used about one tablespoon. So that's about 80 calories for that. Go ahead and hit add. All right. Oh, you know what I'm noticing? I'm noticing that these are all being added to the lunch. All right, let me start moving these to dinner. Dinner, save. Because uh, it always, when you're adding food, it always puts it in the same meal as the last thing you added. So the garlic salt, move that to dinner, save. Cornmeal, dinner, save. Starch, dinner, save. Okay, I think that's right. Uh, so now when we add the brown rice, come back here, plus, whoop, add food, power code. Brown rice fully cooked, half a cup, that's what I, that's how much I used, so we'll add that. And we got some Gates barbecue sauce, let's add that, oh, let me, uh, let me just make a point here, I've been showing you how to use the barcode, but something to know is once you add a food, into this app, it automatically gets added to whoop, your My Foods. So, as you add foods, as you're keeping track, everything you've ever added gets put into this list. So, all of this is stuff that I have previously added to meals. So, that way you don't have to hit the barcode or re-enter every little thing. You, you can just uh, find it in your foods. So, and you can either scroll through to try to find it, or you can just hit this little search button and just start typing. So I'm looking for Gates barbecue sauce. I know I've used that before. So I just start typing G-A-T, and there it is. It pops up. Gates, and about one tablespoon. Yep, that's about how much I used. So I will add that, and the same thing goes for 
the wine. So I'll just type back in the search menu and wine, red wine. You know what? I know that this is specifically, let's see, I think this is kind of a funny thing. If I hit the barcode and scan this Charles Shaw, oh, it comes up as red wine. Uh, sometimes it comes up as two buck chuck. All right, so red wine and how many fluid ounces? I know that from prior experience that that glass is about five fluid ounces. So let's change this to five fluid ounces. So 125 calories. Okay, so now we've got our dinner all ready to eat it's all logged in I'll show you some more in a second okay I just realized I forgot to add the chicken to my dinner so uh, as you can see up here at the top it says dinner I can add some more Let's find chicken. Okay, we've got chicken breast skinless cooked. And I believe that was a five ounce chicken breast. So let's add that. 44 grams of protein, that's a good chunk of protein right there. Done. So now, I can see that my dinner was 773 calories. Uh, not quite as protein heavy as I wanted it to be. And you know what? I'm going to eat this popsicle for dessert. And so let's add that. food and I know that this is a lime so now I'm searching in with the my foods selected so this is just searching the my foods list stuff that I've previously so I start typing LIM and there it is lime fruit flows from Trader Joe's and I want one and there 110 calories each. Okay. Done. So now my dinner is 883 calories. I can tap this eye to see exactly what I ate. This shows me how many calories each item in my meal was. And if I want more detailed information, I can just tap on it. So the chicken breast well, maybe I can't tap on it. If I come back out here I can tap on it. So there I can get more detailed information on how much protein, how many carbs. Cancel. 